The pressure switch allows you to turn the air compressor on and off, turns the motor on and off at set pressures, and has an unloader valve to drain the pressure out of the exhaust tube when the compressor turns off. Common problems with the pressure switch are burnt contacts, a worn out pressure spring, or damage from accidents such as hitting it with something or the compressor falling over. Replacing the pressure switch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Before performing any repairs to your air compressor, unplug it from its power source and drain the air out of the air tank. I'll begin by removing the pressure switch cover. This metal bar is a clamp that secures the cords to the pressure switch. I'm going to go ahead and loosen it. Now remove the motor wires from the pressure switch. Note the location of each wire before you remove them. And I'll remove the ground wire. And I'll pull these wires away from the pressure switch. And now I'll remove the cord wires from the pressure switch. There's a short tube that leads from the check valve to the unloader valve on the pressure switch. I'll remove that tube next. To remove it, I pull this collar down and then the tube will slide out. Now I'll remove the regulator and gauge from the pressure switch. And now I'll remove the tank pressure gauge. And now I can unscrew the pressure switch from the nipple coming from the tank. I'll use an adjustable wrench to grab the nipple and a crescent wrench to turn the pressure switch. Now I'll transfer the pressure relief valve from the old pressure switch to the new. I'll apply some new thread tape and screw it into the new switch. I'll install some thread tape to the tank nipple so I can install the new pressure switch. And now the pressure switch will just thread in place. Now install the tank pressure gauge. And the regulator and gauge.
I'll reconnect the air line going to the unloader valve. It just presses into the unloader valve on the bottom side of the pressure switch. Now I can rewire the new switch. I'll place each of the wires in the same location as they were on the old switch. I'll start with the ground wire on the incoming power cord. Now the hot and neutral wires from the power cord. And now I'll reinstall each of the wires from the motor cord. Again, I'll start with the ground wire. You'll notice that the new switch comes with push-on connectors for each of the wires. However, the motor wires don't use the push-on style connectors they have brazed bare wires, so I'll need to remove these connectors. To do that, I just simply loosen the screw and the connector will pull out. And now I can reinstall the wires. The black wire in line with the black and the white wire in line with the other white wire. Now I'll tuck each of the cords down into the opening at the base of the pressure switch. Here I have the old pressure switch again, and I'm gonna remove the cord clamp from it. and I'll transfer the clamp to the new switch. I'll make sure that each of the wires is aligned with the clamp, and then I can go ahead and tighten it up. And I can finish up by installing the cover.